Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and asked me, I've, I just made a video converting lines to rounded corners on one end. And somebody said, how would you, if you had a 20 inch line and you wanted a half inch thick last night, like on the video, how would you make a one inch gap between there? Well, you've got to kind of do a little testing, but I've already done it. Let's, uh, let's hold down the control button and make a 1.5 inch perfect square. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Select them both, hit T. You don't have to do this, but I like doing it in the center of the page. Let's change our nudge factor to half of an inch and just nudge this guy up. And then take your virtual segment delete key and delete out that section and then delete that. Then Take your pen tool, make it that half inch, and make it with rounded corners. And then magically, because the the line of the lips is just a line, just like in the previous video. Now, to measure something like this, it's really hard to measure because there's really a node right there and a node right there. So we need to create, convert this to an object, then we can more readily measure it. And we can go to that node, to that node, and we have a one inch gap. That's because, let's left click, right click, whoop, left click, right click. The nodes, or our end of a line was here. So when we made it rounded corners, we it added to the scenario. So let's take a two point line and go from that node to that node and we measure this, that, that was the original line and there's our quarter of an inch on both sides. So that's why I made my box an inch and a half to get the two quarters that are gonna extend past there. I hope that um, made sense. But that's pretty cool. Um, you can, I can see using that design for a lot of different things. Anyway, hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.